So for today's video, I'm so excited because it's my first ever Valentine's Day themed DIY video. I cannot wait to share with you guys what I've made. So today I'm going to show you guys some DIY Valentine's Day themed treats that you can make for yourself on Valentine's Day or you could share them with some girlfriends or boyfriends or family or anybody else that you would want to spread the love with. And if you're riding solo this year like I am, Valentine's Day, in my opinion, is all about loving yourself and loving who you are and loving everybody around you, and that's all. You don't really need to be in a relationship to enjoy Valentine's Day. And if you hate Valentine's Day, these treats are fun all year round. Yeah, this is gonna be really fun to share with you guys, and these are super easy to make, and they're so delicious, trust me, and they're pretty good for you. I mean, what's better than that? I personally love food and chocolate, so a day that allows me to eat as much as I want of it I'm all for So let's get into the video. So first thing you're going to need is some strawberry lemonade and a little bit of sparkling water. I'm using this LaCroix pineapple strawberry. And you're just gonna fill up your glass halfway with juice and add in some sparkling water. And it's as simple as that. You can also adjust how much juice or water you want. You can see I added a little bit more juice at the end just to top it off. And then I added some raspberries for a healthy touch. And you can even cut up some strawberry slices and pop those in there as well. And it's very Valentine's Day themed and very, very delicious. I added a cute little paper straw at the end for a final touch. For our next recipe, you're going to be needing two Quest protein bars. I chose the strawberry cheesecake flavor and the white chocolate raspberry flavor. What you're going to do next is you're going to cut your Quest protein bars in half and then pop them in the microwave for about 20 seconds. You want the bars to be really moldable so you can roll them in into little individual tartlets. So you're going to roll it out with your fingers and get it nice and flat into the shape you want and you're just going to do this for each of them until you have four separate little tartlets. Next, I grabbed some So Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Whip Topping. This stuff is so good and I just spooned it on each tart. And you can even pop the whip topping in the freezers to give it a nice little ice cream feel. And then I just cut up some strawberries. But what you want to do here, it's a little different. You're going to cut off the tops of the strawberries and then you're going to cut the strawberry in half. Then you're going to cut a triangle shape at the top of your strawberry and then you can angle off the sides and give it a nice rounder look to it so that when you're finished, it'll look something like this. Then you can just take your hearts and place them on top of your tarts and voila, you are done. These are full of protein and are so delicious. And Cleo decided that she wanted some treats too. Our next recipe is our chocolate fudge truffles and the mystery ingredient in this recipe is actually, yes. You read it right guys, black beans. And no, I'm not crazy. These truffles are super fudgy and super chocolatey and super yum. But the most important step here is to thoroughly rinse off your black beans. I ran mine through a strainer under some cold running water for about a minute until I was convinced that they were thoroughly rinsed and cleansed. This recipe calls for two-thirds a cup of canned black beans and you're just going to pop those into your food processor and then you need two and a half teaspoons of virgin coconut oil. Then you're going to need two tablespoons of cacao or cocoa powder. a half tablespoon of pure maple syrup, a tiny, tiny pinch of salt, one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract, a generous pinch of pure stevia, I'd say about a half a teaspoon, 
And once you've added all these ingredients, you are ready to blend away. And I would do this for a few minutes until you get a nice creamy and fudgy consistency. Every once in a while, I'd use a spatula to scrape down the sides to make sure everything is distributed evenly. And of course, a taste test. And just do this for a little while until you get the consistency that you like. And once you're done blending, you're going to take your chocolate fudgy mixture and transfer it into a bowl. Just make sure you get all the yummy goodness in there. And then you're going to take the bowl and pop it in the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes until it hardens nicely so we can form it into our truffle balls. Then you're going to take a microwave safe bowl and add about a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and just a small spoonful of coconut oil. This will just help the chocolate chips melt a little bit easier. And then you're going to take your bowl and pop it in the microwave and I would do this for about 30 second intervals. Check on it after each time until you get a nice chocolate sauce like this. Now it's time to start forming our truffles. So you're going to need a plate and you could use some wax paper if you want to. I actually found these adorable mini muffin cups from Michael's and I thought these worked perfectly. So I decided to use these, but if you don't, don't worry about that. I forgot to take my wax paper out from underneath, just ignore it. And then you're just going to start forming your mixture into little truffle balls until they look a something like this. You're going to take the truffles and dip them in the chocolate and then pop them in the cups. You could even add some cute Valentine's Day candies if you'd like or some berries and voila! These are really delicious guys, trust me. For our last recipe, we're going to be making a DIY lip scrub and of course this is Valentine's Day inspired. So you're going to need one tablespoon of pure cane sugar one teaspoon of coconut oil or any oil of your choice. Depending on how bright and colorful you want your lip scrub to be, you could add one or more drops of pink or red food coloring. I chose pink and I also had this strawberry flavoring that I found at Michael's, so I added a few drops of that. So that is it guys, how easy was that? Just mix everything together and you have a super moisturizing lip scrub that tastes even better. I already had this macaroon shaped lip balm container and I thought this would work perfectly for this DIY. So I just used a spoon to fill the container with the lip scrub until it was nice and even and then I popped on the lid and boom! Super easy and perfect for Valentine's Day. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe in the down bar if you're not already. You should be. If you guys recreate any of these recipes, please let me know on Twitter or Instagram. You can tag me in your pictures. I would love to see your recreations. Yeah, that's about it. So I hope you liked it. Bye guys. I'm not completely alone. So, single, ready to mingle, wearing my slippers. And so, any day is usually when I stuff my face with things. What? What?